In this video, we're going to be talking about angle of elevation and angle of depression. As stated in your notes, when looking up to an object, so here you are looking up at an object, the angle of elevation is right here. The angle of elevation is formed by an observer's line of sight and a horizontal line. So your line of sight is this way and the horizontal line is right here. So this is your angle of elevation. The great news is you already know all of the math behind this. This is basically just word problems with trig functions. Examples are going to uh, demand that we draw and label, right? It's a one, two process and then solve for the missing part. And we're going to round to the nearest 10th, one decimal place out. So our first problem, Casey sights the top of an 80 foot tall, 84 foot tall lighthouse at an angle of elevation of 58 degrees. Casey's six feet tall. How far is he standing from the base of the lighthouse? So we got to draw a picture. So our picture is going to start with Casey and Casey is six feet tall. And now you have this idea of a line of sight and this horizontal line, right? So you have this triangle. And so what we're looking for um, is the horizontal distance. So I'm gonna label that as X feet, right? We're looking for uh, the distance, right? How far is he standing from the base of the lighthouse? Now, the lighthouse, right? Sort of put like a, a bubble, sort of like that, right? Here's our lighthouse, and yeah, I know it's kind of a, a crummy lighthouse, but this lighthouse is 84 feet tall. But there's already six feet uh, accounted for here. So we come off to the side and we say 84 minus six is going to give us 78 feet. So this piece is 78 feet, not that vertical piece. So we have 78, we have X, and they also told us that the angle of elevation was 58 degrees. So we start thinking about our trig functions. We have the opposite side, and we have our adjacent side, and this is the tangent. We're not using the, I'm sorry, the hypotenuse, I apologize. We're not using the hypotenuse. So it looks like opposite over adjacent sounds like tangent to me. So tangent of 58 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is 78 over, I don't know. And the rest of this is pretty straightforward. We're going to put this over one and we're going to cross multiply. And we're gonna get X times the tangent of 58 degrees is equal to 78 times one, which is 78, divide by the tangent of 58, divide by the tangent of 58, and we're left with x is equal to whatever 78 divided by the tangent of 58 degrees is, which should come out to be, making sure your calculator is in degree mode, about 48.7 feet when you're rounding to the nearest tenth. The actual answer is uh, 48.7398 and some more decimals, but I look here because that's a smaller than a 5, and we're going to leave that as 48.7 feet. So that's our final answer that distance, that horizontal distance. Okay, let's try again. On number two, it talks about the angle of elevation from a kicker's mm -hmm. foot on the football field to the top of the goalpost bar is 17 degrees. The kicker's standing 131 feet from the base, so that's a horizontal. How tall is the goalpost? So let's draw a picture. So I have the kicker. And notice I draw the triangle all the way down to the foot instead of to the eye because this is from the kicker's foot is 17 degrees angle of elevation. And the 131 is from the base, so that's 131 feet. And the question is how tall, so that's how tall in feet. And so now again, it looks like we have opposite and adjacent. So again, that's gonna be tangent of 17 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. And this is that easier version that when we cross multiply, we're gonna get uh, 131 times the tangent 
of 17 degrees is what x is and when you actually do go through the multiplication process mm -hmm. uh, you'll get that x is approximately 40.1 feet right and that's a zero all right okay this is the time where i come in with my uh, education announcement do not just blindly copy the answers without actually doing the calculations on your own. It won't help you grasp material and ultimately will cause you to do poorly on assessments, which is the majority portion of your grade. So you don't want to tank your grade uh, by not doing the work that you're supposed to be doing. Right? If you don't understand, ask me in class. Don't wait to go home and come back only to say you don't understand. Education is easier, not easy, but easier when you take responsibility for your learning and advocate for yourself. All right, back to problem solving. Leah's mom is standing at the bottom of the slide at a playground, waiting for Leah to slide down. If the angle of elevation from the bottom of the slide to the top is 46 degrees, and the slide has a vertical height, right? Vertical height of nine feet, find the length of the slide. Okay, so what do we have? We have sort of a slide set up here, right? This part here is the slide. I would imagine that the slide has a ladder to get up. And Leah's mom is right here, right? Which makes Leah up at the top. It said that there was a vertical height of nine feet. So I think that we have a vertical height of nine feet vertical is up and down. Okay, horizontal is left and right. The angle of elevation from the bottom to the top, so that's this point right here, is 46 degrees. And they wanna know the length of the slide. So the length of the slide, again, we said this was the slide, so this is going to be X feet. So when we look at this, we say, well, it looks like we got opposite and hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse sounds like sine, right? Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 46 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is nine feet, over the hypotenuse, which is x. Put this over one end, cross multiply. And what do we get? x times the sine of 46 degrees is equal to nine, and we're going to solve for x by dividing by sine of 46 on both sides. That cancels out. And we're going to get x is equal to uh, 9 divided by the sine of 46 in feet to the nearest tenth. And you're going to finish that. Okay. You finish this problem and then move on to number 4. So here we go. We have a dog that's standing five feet from the base of a tree. And that's usually, we talk about from the base, that's a horizontal, right? horizontal measurement. So we got five feet from the base of a tree. And the dog is looking up at a cat that has climbed six feet up the tree. So the top of the tree is up here, right? We'll sort of have the root system down here. That's a horrible tree, I know. But the point is, is that at this moment, the cat is right there and the cat is 16 feet up the tree. What is the angle of elevation? We don't know, but we do know two pieces. So we have our opposite and adjacent. So that sounds like the tangent of, I don't know, degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay. If that's the case, then the inverse tangent of 16 over five is equal to our angle in degrees. And that's just a matter of going to the calculator and working from there to the nearest 10th. And again, you finish this problem. Just for a little help, hint, the uh, answer is less than 80 degrees and more than 70, just so you know if you're in the right ballpark. All right, we did say this video was all about angles of elevation and angles of depression, okay? An angle of depression is when you're looking down on an object, right? There's the lifeguard looking down. 
is formed by the observer's line of sight, right? The line of sight and a horizontal line up here. So this right here is our angle of depression. But notice that we have the triangle right here. And remember that this is also a horizontal line. So these two are parallel, making this a transversal. So whatever this is, this is as well. Okay, let's translate that into how this works um, for problem solving. The angle of depression is congruent to the angle of elevation because they are alternate interior angles. Let's put this into action. Again, first and foremost for our examples, we're going to draw and label, right? Draw and label a diagram, then solve. So again, a one, two, three step process. Don't just jump to process number three. And we're gonna round to the nearest 10th. So what do we have? We have a lifeguard sitting on a platform, just like we had before, right? And looking down at a swimmer. So the lifeguard's up here and the swimmer sort of put the, is down there. All right, and the lifeguard's line of sight is eight feet above the ground. So that's a vertical measurement, right? Eight feet above the ground at an angle of depression, right? So that angle of depression is going to be right here between the line of sight and a horizontal line is 18 degrees. Well, if that's 18 degrees, keep in mind that these are congruent. So that is 18 degrees. And they want to know how far away is the swimmer from the lifeguard. Now for this particular question, what we're really focusing on is the horizontal distance in feet from the swimmer because the lifeguard is not going to dive through the air distance, right? It's horizontal distance that we're focused on. So what do we have? We have the 18 degrees, right? We have an opposite, we have adjacent, sounds like we have tangent of 18 degrees is equal to 8 opposite over adjacent, which is that, all right? And now we should put this over one and cross multiply. So we get X times the tangent of 18 degrees is equal to um, one times eight, which is eight, divide by tangent on both sides. And that cancels out and we're gonna get X is equal to, to the nearest 10th of a foot, some sort of an answer and that answer is somewhere between 20 and 30 feet just for a little heads up you finish number five on your own okay so the math should be coming back to you it's just a lot of practice of trig ratios uh finding missing sides and missing angles so here we have a pilot and a helicopter spots a landing pad below we have an angle of depression 73 degrees a horizontal distance of 1200 feet what is the altitude? That sounds like a vertical measurement. So we have a helicopter up here, spots the landing pad down there. The horizontal distance was given at 1200 feet. The angle of depression was given at 73 degrees, which means congruent to alternate interior, 73 degrees. What is the altitude? The altitude is gonna be X feet, and I guess I'll put the helicopter and X in a circle so we don't confuse that with just X. And now we just need to identify our trig ratio. That's the opposite, that's the adjacent. Hey, sounds again like our old friend, tangent. And that's gonna be tangent of 73 degrees is equal to X over 1200. And you finish this one out. Remember we're finding the distance, so it's feet to the nearest tenth. Finish that one up. All right, moving on to the next one. We have building A is 480 feet tall and building B is 654 feet tall. Sounds like we're gonna have to do some subtraction here. We have this idea of angle of depression from the top of B to the top of A, right? So from top to top, it's 42 degrees. How far apart are the buildings? So again, that's a horizontal measurement that we're looking for. So let's draw a couple of buildings, right? We have a taller building and we have a shorter building. I believe A was the shorter one and B was the taller one. And we have this idea of triangular distance. They said that the angle of depression from the top of B to the top of A 
was 42 degrees, which means alternate interior, that's 42 degrees. How far apart are the buildings is the unknown. The question is, what's this distance here? Well, to the top of B is 654, to the top of A is 480. So the distance is the difference, 654 minus 480, right? Which is going to give us 471, right? 174 feet. So this is 174. So now we jump on the trig function train. Looks like we have opposite and adjacent. It's getting a little redundant. Tangent of 42 degrees, right? I don't automatically assume tangent. I read the problem, I label the problem, and I talk it through. Tangent of 42 is going to be my opposite side, 174 over x. And then I'm going to go from there and solve for x. I think we've set up enough. You bring this one home. In terms of feet, it's somewhere between 175 and 200 feet, but you finish the problem. For the last setup, we have Zach is standing on the top of a lookout tower. So, Zach is up here, and he's looking out and he spots a water fountain below. So we have the water fountain down here. If the lookout tower is 75 feet tall, so sounds like 75 feet, and the angle of depression is 28 degrees, alternate interior angles, 28 degrees. What is the horizontal distance between Zach and the water fountain? Kabam, X feet. I think you know what to do here. You finish to the nearest tenth of a foot, and I'll let you know that the answer is somewhere between 140 and 160 feet as a little guideline for your final answer. All right, finish this up and then check in the notes. Okay, you want to get to check your answers in with me uh, for class credit because there's some problems in here that you have to finish. And then you can move on to the daily assignment that follows this video. Thanks a lot. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.